हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ मिसेस दीपाली जोरी फ्रॉम के के वाक पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर और दी वीडियो ऑफ बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक मेट्राइसिस दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ टॉपिक मेट्राइसिस सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मेट्राइसिस सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर अगेन लेट्स फर्स्ट सी what are the learning outcomes of this video the learning outcome of this video is understand all the types of matrices so let's first see what is the definition of order matrix of order m by n a rectangular arrangement of m by n elements this is called by you have already studied the order of determinants same like that it's a m by n it's an order of that matrix so a rectangular arrangement of m by n elements in m rows rows means horizontal lines and n columns vertical lines enclosed between two square brackets is called a matrix of order m by n so a matrix is usually denoted by any capital letter you can select any one so here i have selected capital a so this is the matrix of order m by n see let's see the elements of the matrix this is your first element a11 it is denoted by a12 then a13 up to where we have to write a1n why up to a1n see it's a matrix of order m by n it's a rectangular or arrangement every time you remember in matrix number of rows and number of columns can be different whereas in determinants rows and columns should be same the determinant chapter we have already studied okay in determinants rows and columns should be same but that is not it, uh, that is not the case here in data matrix number of rows and columns can be different so we can right arrange the elements in rectangular array so a11 then a12 a13 a1n a21 a22 up to a2n now let me tell you what are the suffixes means in the suffix also suffix position elements also remember that your first element is for row second element is for column the position of that element so this element a11 it belongs to first row and first column the first number is for row second number is for column next it belongs to first row and it belongs to second column this is your first row second column okay then third element of the first row first row and third column it belongs to so it is denoted by a13 the suffix is defines the position of that element so the element belongs to first row and third column up to where we have to write see the last element of the first row first row and it is in the nth column because the order itself tell us that there are m rows first number is always for row second number is always for column so there should be m rows and n columns in your m by n matrix so this is that nth column hence the suffix of that last element is a 1n it should be 1n it is at first row and at nth column similarly you can write for the remaining elements see the element is at second row first column second row second column this one and so on the last element is at second row and at nth column let's go at the last row this is your mth row Okay, up to where we have to write m rows. So m th row, but the column is first. So the last element is denoted by a m one. M th row, second column a m two. M th row, third column a m three. And the last one is a m n, because the element belongs to m th row and it is at nth column. Okay, so this way you have to denote or arrange the elements. of m by n matrix now here you have to remember matrix cannot be expanded 
we cannot expand it we cannot find out its value okay so in all the examples of matrices your answer will be finally as a is a matrix only next second point you have to remember that in matrix number of rows and columns can be unequal they may be equal but they can be unequal also okay so hope the matrix is clear to all of you the definition is clear to all of you let's go further let's see what are the different types of matrices rectangular matrix is the first type rectangular matrix means what if the number of rows and columns are unequal m is not equal to n so what does it mean m not equal to n so how we can define that rectangular matrix a matrix with number of rows and columns unequal is called rectangular matrix let's see example so this is an example a matrix a of order 2 by 3 every time remember that whenever you write that matrix do write its order okay so this is a matrix of order 2 by 3 means how many rows should be there there should be two rows and three columns number of rows number of columns so these are the two rows and three columns you can write uh, the elements as you wish as you want so 1 minus 2 3 4 but 5 it's a 2 by 3 matrix rows and columns are unequal so this is a rectangular matrix one more example you can consider a matrix any matrix of order 3 by 2 3 rows two columns again the rows and columns are unequal see these are the three rows and two columns fine so it's a rectangular matrix once again now in rectangular matrices there are again sub parts the one is row matrix very simple it is row matrix means a matrix with single row is called row matrix a matrix having single row means a matrix uh, a matrix of order 1 by 1 or it can be a matrix of order 1 by 2 or 1 by 3 at diploma level we have to write or we have to study up to 3 by 3 only okay we will not study uh, 4 by 4 1 by 4 will not consider uh, number of rows and or number of columns equal to 4 here at diploma level we will consider up to 3 only okay so i have considered the examples like wise so this is the example 1 by 1 matrix only one row one column is there 1 by 2 single row two columns 1 by 3 it can be 2 minus 3 5 single row again but three columns so all these matrices are row matrices okay next example next type is the another type of rectangular matrix is a column matrix a matrix with single column same like row matrix row matrix single row whereas in column matrix single column so matrix with single column is called column matrix again any matrix of order 1 by 1 1 by 1 is a column matrix it's a row matrix also it's a column matrix okay both can be possible here next a to 1 single column but there are two rows so what is the order it's a 2 by 1 matrix you have to consider single column only for column matrices so one column but there are two rows next 3 by 1 also we can consider three rows single column so 3 by 1 matrix is called column matrix in matrices you just have to remember the orders orders if you are able to write then matrix is very simple next type of matrix is the second type is first was rectangular matrix the second type is now square matrices what is mean by square matrix or square matrices number of rows and columns are equal m is equal to n so if the number of rows and columns are equal the matrix is called as square matrix a matrix with equal number of rows and columns is called square matrix for example we can consider a matrix of order 2 by 2 1 by 1 also you can consider but i have considered the 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 matrix here two rows three columns three rows and three columns number of rows and columns equal the matrix is called square matrix now the sub types of square matrices are the one is diagonal matrix a square matrix diagonal matrix should be first of all a square matrix so a square matrix in which all non diagonal elements are zero is called diagonal matrix 
so first of all it should be a square matrix means rows and columns should be equal rows and columns should be equal so let us consider 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 matrix so what is the additional condition if all non diagonal elements are zero in a square matrix all non diagonal elements what is diagonal element first of all this is your principal diagonal so principal diagonal and non diagonal elements okay so if these two elements are non zero sorry zero the matrix is called as diagonal matrix in 3 by 3 you can understand it well so this is your diagonal principal diagonal or main diagonal or leading diagonal it is called so other than this if all the elements are equal to zero these are called non diagonal elements three and these three if these three six elements are zero all should be zero that you have to remember so all non diagonal elements are zero then the matrix is called diagonal matrix okay if any one of them is non zero still the matrix will not be diagonal matrix they all should be zero second type of square matrix is scalar matrix scalar a diagonal matrix in which all diagonal elements are equal now this is a scalar matrix so a matrix to be a di uh, scalar matrix first of all it should be a diagonal matrix okay so it should be first of all a diagonal matrix then the additional condition is that all diagonal elements are equal so let us consider a diagonal matrix first of all what is mean by diagonal matrix non diagonal elements zero in square matrix non diagonal elements should be zero in square matrix so these two are first of all a diagonal matrices other than that if the additional condition what is the additional condition all diagonal elements equal so this is that diagonal if the diagonal elements are equal that diagonal matrix is called scalar matrix diagonal elements are equal the matrix is called scalar matrix okay non diagonal all should be zero it should be first of all a square matrix and the diagonal elements zero so equal then the matrix is called a scalar matrix let's see the next type identity matrix this is the third type of square matrix identity matrix or it is also called as unit matrix so identity matrix again it should be a first of all a scalar matrix you remember the sequence square then diagonal then scalar and then identity okay they all are interrelated so a uh, identity matrix means what a scalar matrix in which all diagonal elements are equal to 1 Okay, see the matrix in which diagonal elements are equal to one. Diagonal elements are equal to one. Non-diagonal should be zero, zero, zero. Okay, then this matrix is called as unit matrix or identity matrix. Now remember that unit matrix or identity matrix is always denoted by capital I. So it's a matrix of order two by two. So you can denote it by I two just. It's a matrix of order three by three. so we can denote or you can denote it by i3 just fine now the third type of matrix is zero matrix or null matrix a matrix with all the elements is zero is called null matrix all elements zero okay is called null matrix so these are the types of matrices here we will stop hope the types are clear to all of you thank you if you have any doubt you can text me